starts now. Those of you who regularly watch PBC on Spike, remember our December. Doubtedly, at some point, we'll look for it here tonight. He's extremely heavy-handed, but what I remember from that fight is Luis Sanchez, his opponent, showed him some looks he hadn't seen for a box cleanly, and it took a while. That Deontay, I mean, uh, Davis hasn't faced those caliber opponents. Davis dives in with a couple of lefts, then finally fires a right. Wild swing there. Avila counters. But this isn't the kind of fight, obviously. I don't think he, he can win that way against Davis, because Davis can hit. Well, he better have some good whispers if he's going to stay in this fight. <laughs> the fundamental basis, where's the jab? Where's the quick jab to get everything working off of? One of his nicknames, yep, the tank. Said it was actually a, a coach in his youth who just said his head was as big as a tank. And the rest of his fighting style kind of developed into the overall nickname of tank. Tank Head was the original And he goes to the head here in the final seconds of round number one. Follows up with a combination and a confident look at the end of the first. his reputation worldwide with his mentor and his idol sitting ringside. Floyd Mayweather just sitting over to our right. And he kind of fall into that, always looking for the knockout, always wanting, always wanting to please the crowd. And that was a good shot. Yep, and, and the squint. And Davis was bothered by that. And you can tell he's not yeah. used to getting hit. No. Make no mistake, guys. He may be the underdog, but obviously... He landed the best punch anybody ever landed on Floyd. But what did Floyd do after that? It's what's determined how great of a champion you are. King, Southpaw Orthodox, that's going to happen. Oh. And, you know, what I see here, they're trading punches. Avalos is not backing up. Good right hand. Some wild shots missing, some connecting here as the second round comes to an end. Lee was a headbutt followed by a punch that caused that awkward squint, and Davis staggered back for just a moment. Great job by the men and women in the truck here, PBC on Spike. Pick up that notice he had curly hair as a kid. It's like curly like a sheep, and it, it, when you're growing up, <laughs> you better be tough yep. at the playground. Both fighters with wild power shots over the top against the guy in the opposite stance. Neither guy really using the lead hand well. When they land one for one, the power edge is to Davis. I think he has him cut under the eye. Just cut Avila. And Davis thinks he might have something here in round number three. A big cut exploded on the face of Avila. There was an uppercut that snuck in quickly. It on the nose. No. It like a high cheek area, but he's vicious. Cut. That cut is going to be trouble for the rest of the fight, however long it lasts. Gervonta Davis extending himself and doing big damage in round three. And Michelle Myers, our referee, <laughs> wanted to get some. There was some ice and, stop, and stop, other. You know time, what? She's going to stop the fight for a moment. There, there. Yeah, there's ice yeah, in the corner. There's ice in the corner, and Michelle Myers, our referee, says, get that stuff out of here. It is huge underneath the eye. So, Antonio, Jimmy, and your experience in combat sports. Avila, best in the body. Tried to follow up with a combination of Avila. Gervonta Davis piling up points. The crowd reacts to it and bombs away for Davis. All that confidence we saw in Avila in the first couple rounds has dissipated Whoa. because of that cut. That body shot hurt him. Big Ooh. body shots. Borrego drops back down 
to cover up his midsection, exposes the head. The crowd senses something here. Look at the heart of Avalon in boxing. Davis what? is tired at this moment, Antonio. Say it again. But he got to get his hands up. Oh, and a couple big lefts and a right, and a left and a right. This could be a stoppage. Final seconds of the round. You cannot be saved by the bell. Avila stays up through the bell. Wow. wow. I thought we were moments away from a stoppage, guys. Look at the windup. The subtlety is gone in this fight. It's about huh. Davis believing he can get Avila out of there. Right. Man, he was almost that's, that's right at the end round. Look at these shots. I think the ropes are holding him up there, guys. But, but I love that combination when he put a three-punch combination in between yeah, yeah, yeah. that instead yeah. of loading up with one shot at a time. I'm going to continue to shoot. And did Davis use that 60 seconds to get fresh to put something together to close this out? Very, very tough boxes out of there. Tijuana, Mexico. Yeah. I don't know if you mentioned the name. Eric Morales. Oh, one man. of the best of all time. The activity he did in round four. Well, he's, he, he burned a lot of gas. Yes, he did. He had a high work rate, but A. Oh, oh. Tank drops him. At, oh, and some showboating here as you cannot be saved by the bell. We're all right, all right. He says he's good to go. As soon as he brings it back to the middle, there is the bell. Whoa. We were thinking he's taking a round off. He's recuperating a bit, and then bang, a few seconds left in the round, he turns it on. I feel it just wasn't ready. But that punch came different than any other punch he was loading. Show something at the beginning of the round to stay in it. And now Davis thinks he's got him done. And Michelle Myers has seen enough. It is over. And that's what he needs to work for him. The tank can shoot its armaments. And at the DC Armory, fight number one on PBC on Spike is a knockout. Avila in round six, forcing him. Ladies and gentlemen, Aiden Trevante, the one Davis.